Hey what's up guys welcome back. So in this project it really started out with just a few sketches on some post-its and that's really how all my projects start. I just think of something and then try to run with it. So for this project I'm gonna cut up a old surfboard and replace the fiberglass with these pine boards that I found. And these were just washed up on shore and destined to be rotting on the beach so Bringing them home and giving a second life to them is pretty cool. So I cleaned them all up on the thickness planer, then I moved to the table saw, ripped them into strips about one inch wide, and then I resawed them about a quarter of an inch thick. And here's the original board. It was a 6 2 by 18 by 2 and a quarter inches thick and it was a thruster that was almost identical to the thruster that I fixed up in my other surfboard video. So that was the reason why I decided to cut this one up and try to make a different shape to it. The fins were fiberglassed into the board and removing them cracked a lot of the foam so I'm just replacing it and gluing in some pieces so it'll all be a little bit smoother. So I cut down the nose and reshaped it and now I'm just squaring off the rails with a sanding block and 80 grit sandpaper. And I'm taking a thumb plane to the stringer just because it was sitting a little proud after I removed the fiberglass. Since the sides of the boards curve a lot, it would be difficult to glue on one continuous piece. So I'm using a cove bit and a roundover bit to make kind of this profile, and you can see it here, how they go together. And then I'll just rip off a bunch of sections of this and glue them on to the sides of the board individually, making sure each piece interlock, and that'll make up the, the curve of the board. Off camera I glued up the thin strips as a panel and here I'm just using some Gorilla Glue and clamps to clamp it to the board and since it was thin it held the shape of the board pretty well.
So once I got the top and bottom all flattened out and smooth, I worked on thickening up the sods so I could round them over. For this I'm going to glue on layers of pine on the sods, and I thought it was going to be straightforward just glue them on and clamp them, but since the board is so curved, none of the clamps are holding, and this was definitely the most tedious part of the build. So I used a combination of every long clamp I had, some ratchet straps, and duct tape to hold the wood in place while the glue dried. And this was just one layer. I had three more layers to glue on after this, so you could imagine how long it took. It was kind of annoying. So finally, after all that, I used a flush trim bit to flush up the sides to the top and bottom of the board. So I'm gluing on solid blocks of pine to the nose and tail as accent pieces. I think it'll look a little bit better with some contrast in the wood. And here I'm just using some sawdust for my bandsaw and epoxy to fill in some of the cracks in the board. So next I used my hand planes and some sandpaper to shape the rails of the surfboard. So after sanding the board up to 220, I taped off the tail and tinted some two-part resin with some wood stain just to get a darker contrast on the tail. To seal off the entire board, I'm using the same two-part resin epoxy as the tail, but I'm not tinting it. And I'll put two coats on. The first coat I'll use a paintbrush to put it on pretty heavily, wait until it dries, and sand all the high spots off, make it really nice and smooth, and then put a thinner second coat on.
After I had the two coats of resin on and drawed, I put the fin boxes in and then I sanded with 220 and then wet sanded with 400 to make it really nice and smooth. So the board ended up being 5.3 by 19 and 3 quarters by 2 and a half inches thick. And looking up some other boards that had similar shapes and thicknesses, I could guesstimate that the volume would be around 30 liters. So for my first ideas a month ago, drawing it out on a post-it and then bringing it to the beach now and seeing it, I think it came out great. I wanted a modern take on an old school fish. A single fin that would be easy to paddle with, but you could still take it out on big days. And I think that's exactly what I got. So overall, using driftwood to make a surfboard, definitely doable, took a lot of work, but it was an awesome project. I'm super pumped how it came out. If you guys like this one, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.